Breaking news! The Kansas City Chiefs receivers can't catch! Mahomes turns into Superman every play, just for his receivers to sell the clip. So the Chiefs just announced a three-way trade, sending their entire wide receiver core to the Butterfingers factory, and in return, they will receive 7-Eleven employee. Lay head top, Hail Mary the sixth. The greatest wide receiver ever. Hail Mary worked full-time at 7-Eleven, cause he's always open, and he literally hasn't dropped a ball since puberty. Lay head top is every DB's worst nightmare, as they all say. Hail Mary prayers before the game that Hail Mary the sixth doesn't go for 1,000 receiving yards on them. Mahomes just says F it. Lay head top is out there somewhere and just launches it down the field. The Chiefs replace their entire playbook with one play. A Hail Mary to Hail Mary. Works every time. Not a soul on this planet can guard this man. The Chiefs lead the league in drops, so they are hoping to fix all of their problems by signing Lahead Top just in time for the first round of the playoffs against the Miami Dolphins. Welcome to the heart of the NFL playoffs as the Kansas City Chiefs washed up franchise who traded their entire wide receiver core and city landmarks for the unstoppable 7-Eleven employee Lahead Top Hale Mary the Sixth. As the Chiefs face off against Against the Dolphins in a clash of titans, the air is thick with anticipation. The temperature sits at a bone-chilling negative 35 degrees and the stakes are higher than ever. Battling against the Dolphins in the record-breaking biting cold, can La Head Top rise to the occasion? On the opposing side, Tyreek Hill, the best wide receiver in the league, looks to put up a fight. Get ready for a frosty showdown and witness the birth of a legend. And don't worry, this will be the first Chiefs broadcast in a while that doesn't show Taylor Swift after every other play. This is not just football, this is the birth of a legend. Buckle up folks as we dive into the electrifying debut of La Head Top on the Chiefs in this playoff showdown. Let's see what this kid is made of. Handle as things get a little bit slick. This take it in at the goal oh, line. This. Oh, a good looking return set up here. He's past the 30. He might score. Yes, Layhead Top wastes no time and takes the opening kickoff to the crib. But Coach Andy Reid yells at him for dancing because they need him for the two-point conversion. The former 7-Eleven shelf stalker takes the ball into the end zone with ease for an early lead. But former Chief Tyreek Hill turns into an actual cheetah and responds quickly with a one-play drive touchdown. This will be a back-and-forth matchup all day. Time for the Chiefs' first offensive drive. On play action, they'll throw. Everything was covered, it really was, and he has to get around the hand. He wanted to throw, that looked a little Mahomey. Mahomey drops a dot to lay head top. It's going to be a long day for Jalen Ramsey and the Dolphins' secondary, as Bro cooks him again for a huge gain. Then the 4-11, worker caps off the drive by leaving his defender in the dust with this mesmerizing outroute. Mahomo and Hail Mary already have more chemistry than a science project. But wasting absolutely no time, Tyreek Hill, the maestro of speed, races down the field, answering La Headtop's electrifying performance with a touchdown of his own. The scoreboard now reads 16-16 and the intensity of this playoff clash reaches new heights, leaving fans on the edge of their seats as Hail Mary is back to return the kick. He takes the kickoff and weaves through the defense like he's dodging customers in a crowded 7-Eleven aisle during a midnight snack rush. To the crib, Layhead Top takes another kick to the house. Sorry about that annoying female voice. Can't listen to her anymore. Tyreek and the Dolphins immediately clap back with a touchdown of their own. This game hasn't disappointed one bit. Back and forth we go. Layhead Top wants to prove that he is the best wide receiver of all time after only playing one game. So he says, F it, I'll do it myself, and takes another kick to the house. However, sitting on the wide receiver throne, Tyreek responds with another lightning-quick masterclass touchdown that silences the home Kansas City crowd again. Not to be outdone, Hail Mary orchestrates a masterclass drive of his own. One play at a time, the Chiefs drive down the field again and end up scoring on three plays. If you're new here, I always throw giveaways in the middle of my videos for the real ones who watch it all. 
So for this one, comment a random NFL player's name, and I'll give away $69 to a few lucky winners. Tyreek looks to add to his already absurd stat line on this drive. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. With that absurd screen pass touchdown, the Dolphins have tied the game at 38. And just when you thought you've seen it all, Leyheadtop uses his blazing speed that he once used to chase down shoplifters to absolutely dust the Dolphins' special teams again. This is too easy. That's special teams, too easy. special plays, special players. Tyreek Hill continues his scoring spree with another impressive touchdown, leaving defenders in the dust. We are witnessing the best wide receiver duel of all time. Patrick Mahomes takes out his anger of having a foul girlfriend and fruitcake brother by launching a bomb down the field, connecting with lay head top Hale Mary the sixth for yet another sensational touchdown. Up until this point, it's been a clean game for the Chiefs with no drops, because every pass has been to lay head top. But on the next drive, Mahomes tried to hit his burger flipper wide receiver buddies and they all took turns dropping passes. How are these idiots in the NFL? Following the turnover on downs, Tyreek and the nerd with the play sheet make the Chiefs pay for their mistakes with an easy touchdown to the Fortnite streamer. Mahomo goes back to what was working before and only throws the ball to lay head top, which results in the Chiefs easily marching down the field with one big play after another. Mahomey strikes a dime to Hail Mary, who cooked the overrated bum Jalen Ramsey again for a quick score. But for some reason on the next drive, Mahomey tried to get the ball to the Butterfingers workers again. He must not like how Hail Mary the sixth is getting all the attention. So he tries to hit his acoustic teammates, which of course ends in a bunch of drops and a turnover on downs. Tyreek capitalizes on the Butterfinger targets. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage. And that was a there he goes left side. Imagine if this guy was still on the Chiefs. Well, if Tyreek was still on the Chiefs, I definitely wouldn't even be making this video. I would have been trying to stop them instead of help them. And you guys never would have witnessed this kickoff return right here. Fifth kickoff return on the day for the rookie wide receiver out of 7-Eleven University. Mahomey rolls out and drops a dime to a Butterfingers shareholder to end the first quarter. What a start to this game. 68-64 to 64 at the end of the first quarter is already more points scored than the NFL record for most points total in a game. And don't go anywhere because this only gets better. Mahomey hits layhead top for a little check down to start the first quarter as a disguise play for a quick no huddle. Hail Mary. They go play action. Now Mahomes. He'll rifle this one deep right side. Hail Mary to Hail Mary. Works every time. The Dolphins march down the field yet again on the Chiefs' non-existent atrocious poverty defense. But it's all good. Because special teams mean special players who make special plays. As Layhead Top takes his sixth kickoff return to the Casa. This guy can't be contained. For the last seven minutes of the first half, the game went back and forth, from Dolphins touchdown to a Mahomey slash layhead top masterpiece. In case you were wondering, Taylor Swift pulled up to the game today after she broke up with Travis Kelsey because she doesn't want to date a Butterfingers factory player. She's wearing number 69 up in the press box for Hail Mary. The Chiefs punch one in before half to take a 95 to 91 lead. Lay head top heads up to the press box for a little halftime pep talk from Taylor Swift, and we are ready to start the second. Tyreek opens the half by running right past the poverty defensive back yet again for an easy touchdown. But Lay head top immediately claps back with a monster return. Powering his way forward. Why are the Dolphins still kicking the ball to this man? He's literally Devin Hester reincarnated. Whatever he and Taylor Swift did, it's working like a gem, as lawhead top Hail Mary the sixth catches an insane 69-yard bomb from Mahomey. At this point in the game, Tyreek and the Dolphins' offensive production slowed, and Layhead Top and the Chiefs completely ramped up to reach a whole nother level. I guess that's the difference between good players and great players. Tyreek can't hang with the big dogs. Even though he's only played one game, does this stat line right here put Layhead Top in the greatest of all time conversation? The way the game's being played now, 
This is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. Still staying on his feet. Are you serious? Well, he will score. Lahead top caps off that run with a little tribute to his buddy Hingle McCringle Barry. We got Andy Reid on the sidelines with an icicle mustache who just keeps calling deep post routes for La Head Top. La Head Top remembers what the critics were saying about him before the game and uses it as fuel here to take his eight kickoff return of the night back to the Casa. It's been a while since Andy Reid has had a reliable wide receiver than can actually catch the ball, so he is just soaking in the moment and continues to pour salt in the Dolphins' wounds by dialing up Hail Mary after Hail Mary, putting Tyreek and the Dolphins' poverty franchise out of their misery with a harsh reality check. As Lay Headtop houses his ninth kickoff return of the night, comment which stat line you'd rather have. Unless you have zero brain cells, you would have picked player B, which is actually Layhead Top Hail Mary the Sixth's stat line. Before you account for the kickoff returns, good try, little Tyreek. As Layhead Top puts the final dagger in Miami and sends them packing for Cancun, it's safe to say that La Head Top Hail Mary the Sixth's debut has etched its place in the football history books forever. As we close the chapter on this playoff showdown, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's just a button, and it goes a long way. 6.9K likes for a video that features all three lay steroid football family members. Chiefs fans are so happy that they finally can catch a ball again. See you in the next banger. Peace.